Tommy Rick with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It is so rare that I sit down to film and my cup of coffee is still full and warm. Very rare. So rare. This video is a little shameful for me to film because I don't know if this happens to you guys. Probably not. It only happens to me because I'm a little sick. But sometimes I purchase things and I forget to use them. And I just put them away and forget about them and then I realize I've never used that really actually it's still brand new and it's been months so months and months and months ago I filmed a Tarte haul you guys I'm uh, if it was like a year ago like that's just pathetic but it was it was months ago and I hauled two products in that video and I still haven't used them and since I promised you guys a review on the Amazonian clay full coverage foundation and the brush and the uh, tinted uh, setting powder or pressed powder. I figured that I would also use these two products that I hauled months and months ago and I haven't used them. This is the uh, Smooth Operator, just the pressed version in white. It's supposed to be translucent, but it's it's a little white. And then the Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I opened this through the box away and I still haven't used it. So I thought, hey, why don't we just do like a first impression tart party and we just throw all this stuff on my face. What do you think about that? Are you on board? Let's say, let's, let's, let's just make the best of this video. I thought it was like a way to kill like 25 birds with one stone. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with the primer. And this primer kind of reminds me of the one from Mally in texture and the way it comes in this little pot. But I do feel like the Mally one makes me very greasy. Like I'm talking greasy status. I don't know why because my skin isn't greasy and I never have those kinds of problems with primers. I just focus on the center of my face anywhere where I have visible pores and I have noticed that with this primer it doesn't get along with all moisturizers. With some moisturizers it kind of flakes up. Uh, I don't know it gets like this really gross texture and it, and it turns into little clumps. It's quite quite aggravating so I have to make sure that I use an oil free moisturizer uh, one of those really lightweight ones because otherwise any other moisturizer that I use it just it's it's a mess and then we're going to try the Amazonian clay full coverage foundation this is not a new product it is not not a new product and when I talked about this in my video so many of you were like I love it and then like 50% of you were like I hate it it was so divided you were totally into it or totally hating it I really wanted to try it because I'm a huge fan of full coverage foundations this does have SPF 15 it is a physical sunscreen so it's not a chemical sunscreen it's the better one for your skin but when it's physical sunscreen it does have flashback so it's not mostly you know it's not recommended for photography the claims of this foundation are that it lasts 12 hours um, it has vitamin E Amazonian clay it is water-based let's go ahead and try this I'm actually in the shade light sand and I believe that that is a new color they just expanded their shade range I think they added like I don't know five or six new shades so I mean there's one for everyone in there that's how much I pumped onto my hand it's just a squeezy tube and it's very thick I mean look at that that is super 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 thick I'm going to put half Apply half to my face and then we'll see how well it covers in comparison to the other side. Oh! I'm gonna have foundation all over my hair. I really like this, you guys. You know what it reminds me of? The Becca, um, Becca Full Coverage Complexion Cream, I think it's called. I love that foundation. I mean, that foundation will cover everything. Everything. This is awesome. I'm not covering the monster but I feel like I should just name him and just learn to live learn to live with him in my life okay so what do we think it actually covered my under eyes look at that oh tart I think you're captivating me I'm sorry I'm not looking I'm looking at my reflection that is a really nice foundation and it dries really fast okay now let's move on to concealer and this is the Tarte Maracuja creaseless concealer this is a full coverage concealer it is supposed to be long wearing and waterproof super super thick oh 
You guys see how dark that is? Okay, I have to stop. So I got a shade that is perfect to cover the panda eyes, but that's it. So I cannot go any further than that. Otherwise, it's going to give me like red panda eyes. Have you guys seen a red panda? Super cute. So this is really only to cover the darkest, bluest part of my under eye. You see how it's a little bit sh darker here? I almost feel tempted to use a, n a different concealer on top of it, but I'm going to resist because I don't want to... I don't want to interfere with like my judgment or results of this creaseless concealer because what if it creases but it's because I layered two concealers, you know what I mean? You understand? Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the new Tarte, the, oh god look at this, do you see how big that is? It's like the size of my whole face. This is the new Powder Player Bamboo Press Powder Blush. And I like their brushes simply for the fact that they are um, like sustainable bamboo. Um, they are synthetic and this is super dense. Look at that. It's super soft but very dense. This was designed specifically to go hand in hand with the Smooth Operator Tinted Pressed Finishing Powders. So first, Tarte had the Smooth Operator Loose Powder. It was a loose white powder and it was to set your makeup. Um, it was to kind of <sighs> diminish the appearance of lines, kind of like blur imperfections, like an HD powder. And then they came out with the press version and after they came out with this one, just recently they came out with the same concept but in different colors. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smooth operator, just the white one, and use that for my under eye and then use the light colored one with the brush everywhere else on my face. So let's take, um, I'm just going to use my Wayne Gloss number no. 2, which is my favorite brush for my under eye, and I'm going to take that smooth operator, the white one, and I'm going to set my under eye. I'm not kind of feeling this product. Uh, I never liked the smooth operator in the loose version, and I thought that maybe it was because it was loose, but the press version feels almost the same. I feel like it just doesn't do anything. You know, it just feels like a white powder. I'm going to go if, do is go in with the uh, bamboo, what is it, powder player brush, and in the color light. And you see, it just, it picks up like the perfect amount. That looks really pretty. Can you guys see? Let me move away from the light. Maybe the light is distracting you guys. But it really just kind of smooths out your face. I guess it is a smooth operator. So that is my full face concealer, primer, um, powder, foundation, everything. And I don't know if you guys can tell on my forehead, but I do have little areas of dryness. And I feel like the foundation on its own set really nicely and it looked fine. But once I added the powder, it did emphasize a little bit of the dryness, but not to a point where it would stop me from wearing the foundation. Okay, so, so far I love the finish of the foundation. I think of all the products that I tried, my favorite is definitely the foundation. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go finish my makeup off camera and then I'll come back and I'll share color ranges and other information that I forgot to share like price point or, you know, my overall thoughts. So I'll be right back. I'm back, I clean up nicely, don't I? <laughs> so I was trying to do a different makeup look altogether but then this happened. So my motto is, when all else fails, turn it into a smoky eye. So I'm back to share with you guys kind of like my overall thoughts on these products that I tried. And I've already decided, I'm very, I know myself so well, I already know which ones I love, which ones I'm not gonna like so much. So let's just get to it. First of all, the brush, the Powder Player Bamboo Press Powder Brush that looks like this. It is, it feels very luxe, it's very heavy. The um, the bristles are very tightly packed, but they're very soft, and this is supposed to be to help you apply powder really nicely. Uh, for a $34 brush, I think it's worth the $34, but there are other powder brushes that I prefer to use. For example, my ultimate favorite is the blush brush from Real Techniques, 
or from the Bold Metals collection. I think it's the number 100. I really like that one to just like uh, delicately apply a thin layer of blush. This is kind of, uh, you know, just kind of fluffing it all over the face. And then the other one just deposits it, deposits the brush exactly where I want it. So my overall thoughts on this brush would be, you could probably skip it. Then I also use the Tarte Primer. This is the Clean Slate Primer. This is not a first impression on this one. I've already used it and I already know that I like it, but I wouldn't recommend this primer for someone with really oily skin. If you have normal skin, maybe even dry skin, this would be a good primer for you. And this retails for $39. The um, foundation that I'm wearing is probably the product that I'm most in love with. I've already been wearing the foundation for uh, four hours, and that's how long it took me to get back to filming. <laughs> when you have a toddler, this is what happens, guys. So this is a 14-hour foundation, or 12-hour foundation, I believe. 12 or 14? Does it matter? I mean, 12 is good enough, right? Um, I don't know if it would last 12 hours looking perfect on my skin, but this foundation reminds me so much of the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. So much. It reminds, I, I feel like it's the same product. Uh, and I really like it, and it's my exact color. So if you are a C3 and MAC, 3.0 Urban Decay, uh, 120 in Maybelline, you're probably light sand in this foundation. I really like the finish. I love that it's super thick, but actually sets. I used a beauty blender and not a buffing brush, and it still worked really well with a sponge. So, uh, you guys, I don't know. I got a lot of mixed reviews or commentary on this foundation when I did my initial haul, and a lot of you were like, it's crap, I don't like it, it's greasy and it splits and it just like melts all over my face. So far, I'm liking it. If at the end of the day I have like a really terrible experience with it, I'll update you guys in the description box, but oh, this, I swear this is the Becca foundation, just in a different presentation. Loving this, I'm so excited about this. The Tarte uh, Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, it reminds me of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Same formula, same texture, you know, kind of sticky and thick, but it warms up so nicely when you touch it. Um, I bought the shade, does it say on here anywhere? I bought the shade Light Medium. It is much too dark uh, for highlighting. If I want it just to cover my panda eyes, it's perfect. It's like the most beautiful salmon-y concealer shade ever. So the Light Medium is a perfect salmon shade. It covered my under eyes beautifully, but I would not use this to highlight. And it does not crease. How does something this like sticky and thick, not crease in your under eye. I don't know, but it doesn't. So this is another thumbs up for me. So, so far the foundation, the primer, and the concealer are all thumbs up. Then the last two products that I have are the Smooth Operator Powders, and I have one in the shade Light, and then I have the Translucent version. The ones that come in color denominations are brand new. So they do have, I think, four, four shades? Let's see, yeah, they do have four shades and the translucent, so five. And they are really beautiful powders. You can see the finish that it gives my face. It's a really soft finish. It is very light, it is not cakey. Um, it's not one of those powders that you can overdo, but I will have to say this. The combination of these two together, if you do have flaky areas of your face, areas of your face with dryness, in combination, it will show up, it will show, it will emphasize the dry areas of your face. I have dry areas around my mouth and on the top of my forehead, and it does emphasize those dry, those dry spots. If you have dry skin, you could pull off this foundation on its own without setting it with a powder, and it would look beautifully. But these together make a really good power team. Um, but I don't, this powder isn't anything out of this world. Do you remember when I tried the Urban Decay powder and I was like, oh my god, I'm, you know, just, I'm gonna marry it. Not this one. This is a good powder. It's absolutely great. And if you love Tarte, it's a great powder. But it's not, you know, anything Magical Unicorn Baby Tears. It's good. Um, and then this one, I did not like it at all whatsoever. I feel like, what are you doing? Like, like, do you do anything? Like, hello, is anyone in there? Like, <laughs> you know, like, it. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. After you try, 
Take my word for it, you guys. After you try the NARS Translucent Crystal in the loose version, nothing translucent will ever tickle your heartstrings, ever. And so, I'm sorry, this did not do anything for me. But overall, in case you're wondering, this foundation comes in 25 different colors and it retails for $38. 25 different colors. And then the concealer comes in 12 different shades and it retails for $24. Uh, I don't know if I would repurchase this. I like it, but there are other concealers that take my breath away more, like the new Maybelline Master Studio whatever. Uh, you guys like how I name my concealers? Um, Max uh, Pro Longwear Concealer, that one will always have my heart. So it's a great concealer and I love how thick and how full coverage it is and it doesn't crease. I feel it's like there's like magic in here. So I like that. The primer's pretty good, but it's, you know, you could find a primer that does a little bit more and cost the same or maybe a little less. That primer is um, $39. That's a lot of money, $39. For $39, I'd rather get the, um, what is this? I'd rather get this one from Smashbox. I don't know if this is $39, I think it's $42, a little bit more, but this one, Perfect skin. Perfect skin. And you could wear it without foundation or anything and it absolutely perfects your skin. So that is it for this first impression and review on all of these Tarte Face products. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to try and list some of these details in the description box below, including links and prices like I always do. Please make sure that you check there first along with details on my makeup. Maybe there's a tutorial available. If you guys have any tips or maybe another way of how I could use this brush because this brush is so beautiful beautiful and I wanted to fall in love with it. Maybe I'm just gonna have to use like a microphone, you know? <laughs> I wanted to love it, but I feel like it moves my product around too much. So let me know your thoughts on this brush if you've tried it. And as always, if you guys found this video useful, entertaining, or heard something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys! <laughs>